Hey, Terry Jones here, and I am going to talk about um, how I'm going to frame these two pieces. And I've done two of them. And what I'm going to do is this one I'm just going to put in a mat, and this would be um, eight, basically an 8x8 eight eight and a 12x12 12 12 mat. So all I'm going to do for this, <coughs> cut her down a little bit, not a huge amount. And then I'm going to put her in here, decide where I like the, decide where I like it. I think I like it right there. Not perfectly centered, maybe a little of, off to the side. Turn it over and then use a piece of good tape to tape it on the top only. Um, one of the things that I think a lot of people don't realize is that you don't tape your pieces all around. Um, so here I'm going to tape it on the top only. And I usually, this is a um, acid-free tape uh, from Dick Blick. It's an artist tape. And so I usually tape it and give it a little bit of space to move put in a frame, or I will end up um, just putting it in a sleeve and putting it in my studio. Uh, ready to frame. So that's the one. Um, and then the next one that I'm going to do is this one here. And what I really, what I want to do is I want to mount this on a cradle panel. This is a cradle panel for a eight by eight. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down also. But I didn't cut this one all the way down to 8 by 8. Basically, I'm going to put this on here, kind of like this, but I'm not going to get perfect. I will cut it perfectly when I finish it. So what the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use some matte medium. And I'm going to put a thin coat of matte medium on... Um, on my piece. Now uh, you can use a brush or you can use um, a, you know a piece. A lot of times I just use the um, a spatula that it got a little bit of, of stuff on it. So let's try this again. Ah, now it's much better. So now this is an even and thin coat. You can see where I'm not dragging anything. Uh, sometimes, as I said, I frequently also do it with a um, with a brush, but this also works really well. This is just a spatula that I use when I'm stenciling and using cold wax. Okay, got it all the way to the end. Now I'm going to let this sit for a second, and I'm also going to kind of look at this and get a little closer so I'm going to cut off a little bit more on the very bottom and so now when I look at it I can see that I'm not as long as I stay nicely in here I'm not going to catch any of these corners so I'm going to flip it over I'm going to go through the same thing again I'm going to put just a little tiny bit of uh, matte medium on it wipe off my matte medium here And then I'm going to spread the matte medium also on the back of this. Then the next thing I want to do is I just want to wait a, a few minutes. I don't want it to get dry, but I want it to get kind of a little more tacky. Whoops, and I can see that I've got a little piece of tape still on this that i got to pull off. There we go. And here I go. And I don't really have to super worry about the edges because I've got it an extra kind of quarter of an inch all around the edges. And then I'm going to take my piece here and I'm going to let the two meet. 
So here I'm going to place this kind of down right into the center. And I was pretty happy with my where it was. So I'm going to place it in the center and I'm going to weigh it down a little bit. Then I'm going to flip it over and look at it and make sure that my name is okay and that the corner is okay. I think I want to bring it a little bit more over to this side because I want to make sure that that corner gets cut off there. I don't know if I, I want too much of that white showing and it's not going to now. There we go. So, and I want to make sure she's kind of even on there. So I'm making sure she's even. And then I want to put a piece on top of it and work from the outside in. So I can take, I usually just take another squeegee and I work from the outside and I pull it. You can also use a, um, a roller. I've also used a brayer for this bringing it out to the end from the middle and from the top and making sure I have good contact. So this is a brayer works too. Then I check it there and then I flip it back over again and I make sure that I'm reasonably even. And you can kind of see that you've got a little bit coming out the sides and that's good because I want to make sure that it's really well attached. So I might get another, one of the things, I can't, I, I tend to not use the same piece of paper more than once. So here, I'm getting another piece of paper here, putting it on. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna really work from the center out. and make sure I really get these edges also nicely down. And then when I'm done with all of this, making sure that the edges are down, making sure that it's all going to be there, and then I look at it and make sure that I don't have any um, ripples in it or anything, which looks really good. Now I'm going to stick it upside down on a piece of plastic and put some weight on it and let it sit. So that's what I'll do. Okay, well I'm back again for my final thing. Here you'll see that I've put this, it's attached on, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of it off. So what I've, what I've got is I've got a, um, a blade here and I'm just going to come down and I'm going to run the blade down the very corner. And you got to try not to get into the wood. You just want to run the blade down the very corner of the paper. And then it should and I, I'm doing this on a, um, underneath this piece of paper is a, is a cutting mat. So you can feel when you get all the way through. So there's one side and I'm going to cut through this side. So all I'm doing is I'm, I'm cutting off the very end of this. this extra little bit here, pull it off. And then when I 
flip it over, I have a nice clean edge. Now, if I have something that's not perfect, as I said, I can go and, and clean this up. I have probably should have pulled off the tape first because I do have some, some tape on there. And then if I also have a place that's not, oh, see, I've got something there that's not, that didn't quite go all the way straight down. But here I'm going to pull that off. There I go. So now I have my lady on the board and then I can just hang up the board. I have put, um, I had put some tape on the board. So I'm also going to be pulling off the tape and then I will probably paint the side of the board a um, another color. I'm not sure. Let me uh, or I'll just keep it the natural that it is. I put the tape on it because I wanted to do the black. And um, in doing the black, I didn't want it to go around the edges. So that's where I went with that. Um, I, I don't know. Well, I was doing the black for another project, and it was just the one I already had. So there you go, all attached, ready to go hang on the wall just like it is. Thank you.